welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a summer teacher classroom haul for you guys. I'm gonna show you everything that I've purchased for my classroom this summer and I'm gonna try and do it before my camera dies because it is on 16%, so we're just gonna get started. So I have things from a few different places. I have some things from Ikea, I have some things from online, I have some things from Walmart. My list this year was a lot smaller because last summer I spent a lot of time shopping for my classroom as you guys saw if you've been following me forever. But this year, I only needed a few things. I wanted a few things for certain projects. So I'm just gonna just jump right in and show you guys everything that I bought. Okay, I'm starting first with Ikea. So the first thing I bought from Ikea was this clock. And the reason I bought a clock is because I do not have one in my classroom. And they don't give you clocks in your classroom. So I went and bought a clock. I think this was $19, but I love how it's white and I can still put my clock stickers on it around it. And I just thought it was super cute. So I plan on having six table groups this year. And so I purchased these little plants for each of my table groups and I have six of these. And then I also bought these little picture frames because I planned on using these for like putting class rules on them, maybe some shout outs on either side, and I did buy six of these as well. Then I went ahead and bought this cute little double basket, and this is the Playa, I hate the names IKEA uses, the Playa thing, but it basically is two bo uh, baskets that you stack on top of each other, and I planned on using these for like an inbox or um, like a grading box or something for like on my desk or somewhere in the room. I just thought they were super cute, super cute and it was only $7, so I grabbed that. Next thing I got was this black display shelf and it's the kind that sits like this and then you can display things on it. So I thought about putting this behind my personal desk and putting like my planner on it, maybe like a notebook or like a picture or something. I thought it would be super cute behind my desk and I'll show you guys what I'm planning on doing with my desk this year. So I bought another one of those desktops that I have. This, this kind of desktop here, it's just the plain white. It's like $8 at Ikea, and it's just a plain white desktop. And I actually ended up buying the expandable legs for the desktop, but they didn't have white, so I just went ahead and got black. What's wrong with black and white together, right? So these actually expand and get taller because I plan on doing a stand-up desk. I do have a stool that I can use if I choose, but I planned on doing a stand-up desk teacher space for myself, so I have four of these, but I'm not gonna show you all four of them. Then from Ikea, I also grabbed six of these Fiskbo 12 by 16 frames. I did purchase Teaching and So Forth's Lyric Classroom Motivational Posters, and I planned on printing them and putting them in these and then kind of interchanging them throughout the year, but I just wanted to have some cute little decorative pieces up in my room, and I plan on using all black frames. My uh, classroom theme isn't really a theme this year. It's like black with colors, kind of like everyone else is doing, but it's just super simple to do that. I also grabbed this smaller frame because I put my little Darth Vader card. I found this at Target and I wanted to frame it for my teacher desk. So I have it framed and it's just sitting on my desk here. And then I also grabbed two of these 61 by 91 black frames as well. Again, for my teaching and so forth classroom posters that I purchased on TPT. Okay, I'm gonna move on to Amazon. So in this big old box is a roll of wood bulletin board paper and I will put a picture right here. So I ordered that for my bulletin boards because I wanted to do a black border with the wood and then possibly some burlap accents. And then I also ordered another pack of the little eraser sponges from the Dollar Tree. These are for whiteboard erasers. I always order these because it's like 20 bucks and you get 24 of them. And I have a few left over from last year but I did need to get more so I just ordered some more of those. And again, that's from the Dollar Tree. And then I have some other things coming from Amazon still, and I'm gonna show you guys those on my phone, but I also found these little book display things. They're not 
unpackaged yet, but they're basically just like a display so that I can put the read aloud for the week on here on top of my bookshelf. So I ordered those. <clears throat> and then last year I had ordered a new pencil sharpener and I noticed that all my students were trying to sharpen their crayons and their colored pencils in it. And I was like, listen, this is not happening. So I actually found and ordered a crayon Pro electric crayon sharpener. And I think you can use colored pencils. Oh no, it says crayons only. So I'm gonna have to just get like another pencil sharpener, like a hand one for colored pencils, but I'm just so tired of them trying to stick their crayons in my sharpener. So I thought that this would be a good buy. Ooh, I do have these multi-culture crayons coming today, and they're just the multi-culture um, crayon set from Amazon. You can't really see it, but I bought three of those because I plan on doing some like coloring stuff. Uh, I also got who I got the students. I am your teacher Darth Vader shirt from Amazon. Uh, I think that's it. That's it that I ordered from Amazon. So the next thing is going to be Walmart. Yesterday I went to Walmart and got all the things on my to-do list. And the first thing I'm going to show you guys, I just got these, these little white tension rods. I plan on doing a anchor chart display in my classroom using these and like two command hooks, one on each side, and then doing the binder clips and just hanging them from these. I found that that would be a lot better than kind of like stapling them on the wall. Um, so I got two of those. And then I just got a pack of the command hooks. I got, I think there's six of them in here. So, uh, and they come with 12 of the stickers. So if you make a mistake or something, you can fix it. So I got those. And then I grabbed seven of these and I plan on putting packs of crayons in them. So taking the crayons out of the crayon box, putting them in here and then putting these in their group caddies. Um, I hate when the crayons are like everywhere. These were a dollar. I think they were 98 cents actually each. So I just grabbed seven of them and they're all clear. I don't, I didn't want any other colors. Then I grabbed a thing of tape because I am going to a birthday party tomorrow. Actually, is it tomorrow? Yes, I'm going to a birthday party tomorrow and I need a tape for the birthday gift, but I can actually use this in my classroom too. <clears throat> then I also grabbed one of these pop socket mounts. And I grabbed this because I have an iPad that I use in my classroom and I thought I would just put this on the whiteboard so I could like mount my iPad onto the whiteboard. I actually might go get a couple more of these and just like put them around my classroom so I can mount that thing like everywhere. So I just grabbed that. And then I also kind of stocked up on some Expo markers for myself. These are not for students. I just got the big ol' um, color pack. I also got the one that comes with the eraser and the spray because I left a lot of my erasers in the trash at my old school because they were yuck. And then I got these ones, the ones that come with the thingy that lets you know when they're dry. When they're dry. There's one bag down. I've got 9% left. I can do this. Okay. I also purchased my sponges because I am going to be making blue sponges this year. I got two packs of six because I am going to do six... Um, six glue sponges, but at least this way I can restock and redo, um, when Christmas time comes around, I'll redo them. So I got two packs of sponges. And then I grabbed some more LED lights for my classroom. I got these last year and then I could never find them again. So I got another pack of white ones because I do have one pack already. And then I grabbed two packs of the brown because that's all they had, but I figured, who cares? Um, and I'll just put these, I plan on using these ones for around my whiteboard because, because they're brown, I can kind of tuck them behind. So I got two packs of those. Last box. I grabbed this box of 50 gallon Ziploc bags because I like to use these for centers. I like to have everything printed out and then put them in there. And then I was struggling trying to find containers for my glue sponges, but I did find these and they were a dollar and they come with four in each one and I like the teal color so I just went with it. And then the last 
thing I got from Walmart were these cubby bins. And I got all my book bins. Oh, that's another thing I purchased for my classroom. I got 30 book bins and seven table ca uh, caddies from Target. And I think it was like 120 bucks for all of it. So I just went with it. But then I found these at Walmart and they were two something each, but I grabbed these for my centers. What I plan to do is make each one, like I'll make three of them math centers and three of them reading centers. And then every day I'll restock the bins and they'll know like, I'll say, okay, group one's going to the teal center today. Group two's going to the green center today. So I thought that they would be great for small group and centers. Okay, so I think that that's everything that I purchased for my classroom this year. I'm really excited to get back into it. I get to get to my classroom on July 16th, so I will be moving everything in that day, and yes, I will be vlogging it, so look out for that. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing 4th of July, and make sure you stay safe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.